Hi guys! Today I am going to teach you how to use Brightspace for teachers. Brightspace is used by universities and institutions as an e-learning solution and learning management system to deliver effective online teaching. So let's start the tutorial. Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. How to log in at Brightspace to log in, open your browser. In the address bar, type the link of your Brightspace portal link. Now you are here at your portal. To log in, type here your username given by the admin, your surname, dot, first name, and middle name. Below, type the default password. The default password cannot be changed. Click login. Once you are logged in, you will see this as your course homepage. How to edit your user profile To change your profile photo, click your name at the upper right and select profile. Click change picture and click upload to get the photo from your computer. After selecting, click Open and click Add. Now you have uploaded your new profile photo. You can fill out your personal info here such as your tagline, interests, favorite music, and more. Once you are done, click Save and Close. How to change the time zone Since the default time zone of Brightspace is in Canada, you can change it with your time zone. Click your name at the upper right corner and click Account Settings. Scroll down until you reach the time zone settings. And look for time zone. Once you are done, click Save and Close. How to change your course image To change the image of your course, just click this icon and click Change Image. You can choose from the default photos available or you can just upload from your computer. Just click Upload, select the file, and click Add. Now you can see that we already changed our course image. What is the course home? Now let us go to our course. We are here at our course home. It's just like your timeline in Facebook where you can see all of the posts, announcement, and calendar of upcoming events. At the top, you can see this red navigation bar. At the contents is where all of your materials are organized for users to navigate course contents easily. Right now, we don't have contents yet. At the discussions is where students can discuss about the topic. The portfolio right now is not accessible but it's for storing and organizing your items such as documents, presentations, and files. The award tool is to recognize learners' achievements such as perfect attendance and academic excellence. 
The class tool is where we can find the course builder, quizzes, and assignments, which are the most useful tools. How to use the course builder. Now let us proceed to our course builder. Course Builder enables you to build a course outline, create and edit course materials and assignments, manage grades and learning objectives, all from one central location using the drag and drop interface. I'm going to teach you how to build the course outline. Now let us drag this icon to create a module. Here type the name of your module. Science 7 Quarter 1 Week 1 Then click Create Next, if you are going to create a pre-assessment test, just drag this quiz placeholder icon Name your quiz as Pre-assessment Week 1 And click Create. Now let us add a lesson. Just drag this module or file placeholder icon to our module and name it as Topic 1 Week 1. And click Create. Let's add a quiz for our Topic 1. Drag this quiz placeholder icon to our Topic 1 and name it as Quiz 1 Topic 1. And click Create. If you want to give assignment for Topic 1, just drag this assignment placeholder icon to Topic 1 and name it as Assignment 1 Topic 1. And click Create. To add another topic, just drag this icon to the first week module and name it as Topic 2 Week 1. So I'm going to add another quiz by dragging this quiz placeholder icon and name it as Post Assessment Week 1. Now you are done creating your course outline, and you can check it by clicking Content, and here it is. How to create the quiz. Now we have created their outline, but it doesn't have a content yet. So to create the quiz, just click Class Tools, Quizzes, and New Quiz. We are going to create a quiz for our pre-assessment, so the name would be Pre-Assessment Week 1. To add questions, just click this Add or Edit Questions. Click Add, select New Question, and the type of question you want to add. For example, I'll create a multiple choice question. You will type your question here. Example, which of the following is an organ system? Below that, you will type the choices. Now click the circle that corresponds to the correct answer. Here you will indicate the points for this item. After clicking save, you now have your first question. To add another question, simply click Add, New Question, 
in the type of question. Our question is, which of the following is methane? Our choices would be the condensed structural formula. So to type that, click this and choose the chemistry equation. Now you can start typing and click insert. Do the same thing if you are going to type a chemical equation. Mark the correct answer before you click save. If you are done adding questions, just click back the settings. Go to the restrictions first and unhide it from users. There. And click save and close. Going back to our course builder, scroll down to quizzes and drag the quiz that you created to the pre-assessment in the course. Now we have content. There. How to add the file or module. At the course builder, click topic 1, week 1. And click upload files. Now you have to insert the file from your computer. After selecting, Click Upload. Now we already have a content. Checking your content. So far, we have created the pre-assessment and inserted our module for week 1. To check, go to Content. Click that, and our quiz is already here. And when we expand this, we can now see the module. Thank you for finishing this tutorial, and I hope that you learn how to use Brightspace as your learning management system platform. If you like this video, Please share it to others to help them as well. That's all for now. Goodbye!